today we're just going to do a quick browse through um, various resources in order to do a surface search. Now surface searching is a great way to discover um, what's been done about a topic or how to narrow down a topic if you have one and I'm just going to show what I would do um, in this case. So I'm doing a research paper on a comic artist known as Seth and if I just type in Seth on Google I'm going to get a lot of stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm doing. So I know um, just from using Google many times that it's probably best for me just to go to advanced search and say it has to have that um, but it really also needs to have comic um, and let's see what comes up with that. Aha! That's the right guy. Um, so my surface search will show me what Google thinks I'm looking for and in this case just about all of the articles are are pretty much accurate. They got the right artist, they got the right name um, but I want to check out what's news. So I'm going to click on the news thing over here um, and I'm seeing that suddenly a lot of my results are getting not so good. Um, partially because they're talking about Seth Green or this guy here, Seth Demuse. So I'm just going to add one more word. That's the name of this particular artist series. Um, so, oh my, it looks like just the other day, Seth did an interview with another one of my favorite comic artists. Um, that's, that's great. I would have missed this completely. And maybe there's something in here that I can use for my research paper. And so what I would do, of course, is I would go through and read a little bit from this article. Um, and if I find any interesting keywords like, oh my word, check it out, Seth has a new book coming out, I would just plug that into Google and follow the links for a while until I found something particularly interesting. Um, another way to do a surface search is to just play around with the library's websites. The library has tons of resources. Um, and so what I would recommend is to find something rather general. So here we go, general topics. And to search a database, probably something along the lines of um, CQ Researcher, which reports on various controversial issues. Um, or possibly Opposing Viewpoints, which kind of aggregates a lot of web stuff into one place. Um, but for this example, I'm going to go through um, this here, Academic One File Plus General, which is going to search both academic and general sources. Um, now, for this search, I want to look up something a little bit different. I want to look up Another thing that I'm really passionate about, um, roller coasters. It sounds really silly. Let's see what comes up. Oh my. That's actually more than I expected. Right, but what's neat about this resource is it does split them um, between different results. So you have your magazines, your academic journals, which would be more peer-reviewed, your books, your newspapers, multimedia, etc. Now multimedia is great um, because it has things that you wouldn't necessarily expect to find um, in a library database. For example, this is a broadcast transcript of um, a weekend program, a weekend news program. Here I can click on a video from the Today Show. Right. Again, these aren't all scholarly sources, but they are the types of things that you can take a look at, and it doesn't take very long, um, and see whether or not your topic is researchable. Are you finding stuff? If you need to narrow down your keywords, are you finding the right stuff? Um, and if you're not really sure how to narrow, you can at least start to go through some of the sources and try to find a smaller picture based on the topic you suggest. Those are just a couple tips. Happy searching.